Welcome to this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. In this video, we'll take a look at a tool that I've found to be helpful both in checking dimensions on a solid model as well as checking features during or after simulation in situations where you want to verify the amount of material remaining or possibly how many passes remain before breaking into another feature. This tool is a plugin called Show Position. It's located in the plugins menu and is already available in a normal Gibbscam installation. This is one of the tools that I like to keep handy, especially while I'm evaluating a model and planning my strategies and tooling choices. Show Position has three static functions that you access by clicking this icon on the left end of the Show Position window, as well as a fourth function that activates only while a simulation is actively running. With the simulation running, the current position of the tool in the program relative to CS1 is actively displayed in the Show Position window. Let's take a look at those three static functions. The first function returns the location of the mouse cursor on the model. The horizontal, vertical, and depth values, which in the XY plane would be X, Y, and Z values, of the cursor on the model will populate this dialog when the mouse is clicked. These values can be reviewed or, if needed, copied and pasted into other dialogs. This can also be very handy on the OpSim or MachineSim model where we can even pull values in process. I could stop the simulation part way through and check the location of a particular face at a specific point in the toolpath. The second function in show position is thickness. When I click on the model or the sim model, the software calculates a linear measurement from the point I click on normal to the face until it reaches another face and returns the distance between the two faces, again, measured perpendicular to the face. This is a quick, easy way to check the thickness of a section of the model. I think it would be more common to use this on flat surfaces since if you click on a hole, for instance, you are unlikely to hit the exact quadrant and the measurement is always normal or perpendicular to the point on the surface where you click. This function can also be useful with the rendered model if you need to check the position or thickness of features during or after the simulation. The third function of show position is curvature. This is one of the tools available to analyze the size of a radius on a solid model. It's very handy to quickly check a fillet size, a radius size in a corner, or hole sizes. Of course, the value returned is the radius of the face, so in the case of a hole, you would double that value to get the diameter. Again, the values that are returned when you use show position can be copied and pasted to other windows if you wish. So, possibly in setting up my tooling, I know that the end mill that I'm creating needs to be able to finish this fillet. If I wanted to, I could capture that radius, copy the value to the clipboard using Control c or by going to the Edit menu and selecting Copy, and then paste that value into the corner radius field of the tool using Control v or by going to the Edit menu and selecting Paste. In this video, we've looked at using the Show Position plugin as a tool that is helpful in checking various features of a model prior to creating toolpath, as well as checking values on the simulated part, either mid simulation or after simulation completes, whether you create the toolpath based on a model or based on geometry. If you would like more information about the Show Position plugin, or the other tools that Gibbscam provides which can streamline and simplify CNC programming, contact your local Gibbscam reseller.